So in this we have the control break statements in this if statement. In if statement uh, we'll just write something like parameters. P underscore color. P underscore color and this we have. So P underscore color is the field. And I mean like I'm just normally taking parameters so that I can give some input here. So if if p underscore color is equals to r, p underscore color is equals to r, and if here we say bright, bright color is red. So we're just writing this. So let me execute this. So uh, let me execute and explain you this program, simple program. So we have AC38, ZVA underscore, control break. Control break statements. this we have <coughs> this is what we have okay so here we have r and execute then we have color is red. So here we have this p underscore color. p underscore color is the parameter for which we have this r is the input that we are giving, and color is red is what is the output that we are getting. We are getting. Okay. So if we give r, if we give r here, then the output that we get is color is red. But the problem here is that if we don't give an if we give something else like y and execute doesn't give anything so this is not the right way of doing it so we have to also manage the alternatives as well if we give r this is something which we have but other than this we have else else part is always mandatory okay so let me let me keep it like this this is if and if statement okay so i'll go for this if and if Then we have else bright color is unknown. Color is unknown. Save. So here we have color is unknown. 
So if you give anything other than R, it will by default give you color is unknown. So if I give R, it will give you the output as color is red. And then we have, if you give anything other than R, it will be like color is unknown. So anything other than R, color is unknown. Okay, so here now here we have this else if p underscore color is equals to white w white color is Now we have W, so we have color is white. If we have R, color is red. And if you have anything R uh, other than R and uh, W, it will automatically give you uh, color is unknown. Okay, so you can have n number of uh, else ifs. We can have n number of else ifs. So else if I'll write else if p underscore color is equals to G right color is green. So color is green. Now here we have this else ifs. Else if can be n number of else ifs can have. We can have okay. So this is these are these are the n else ifs. But we have a lot of other options also which we will explore now. But let me show you this output and then we'll go for that. So we have G, color is green, W, color is white, red, color is red. Okay, so this is what we have else if else if else statements and now let's go for one more parameter like you know parameters in the parameters itself I'll go for one more comma p underscore size so p underscore size means we can also have this like here in this else if p underscore color is equals to b and p underscore color is equal to p underscore size is equals to b okay so we can have and condition here and so i am using and condition here right color is blue and size is big color is blue and size is big that's what we have so let's do that so and condition will work only when both are having the same values so we have this color is uh, blue and size is big execute so we have color is blue and size is big now uh, the and will work only when both the conditions are satisfied but when we have a or else if p underscore color is equals to something like uh, violet v capital or p underscore size is equal to s in this what happens is uh, either of these conditions satisfies then it will work color is violet or size is small so 
so here we have uh, v if we have v here then co color is violet or size is small will come if i don't give this and i give this as s execute violet color is violet or size is small okay then we have so, v, yes yes okay so case statement also has uh, the same thing case p underscore color in case when r right color is red so color is red okay so case statement can be cannot have these many functionalities these many functionalities uh, uh, you know uh, we can have in if statement we can have uh, multiple number of fields a multiple number of conditions or multiple number of fields and we can have and operator or operator all these options will be possible in each statement but in case statement it is very simple just add the field name and and that if we have this right right when r we should we should give this when color is red when w right color is white when green right color is green when others right color is no color are color is unknown so here color is unknown will come after when these all values will not be updated will not work so we have g color is green red color is red blue color is unknown so here we have this so this is the one we have okay so case p underscore color okay so case we can we fix up the field here itself in the case so once we fix up the field all the values will be in the say all the all the options will get it here only 